This is a key lime pie. I'm going to school. This is our psych class and we're doing like our final farewell thing. So that's why we're doing a potluck. There's a lot of food here. Wow. Yeah, how was that? Um, it was amazing. I didn't cry and I want everyone to be proud of me because I've cried at every single goodbye. Hey guys. We're here to, you know, taste test with some random kids' key lime pie. What is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tastes just like someone spent, like, all his time making five pies. <laughs> so good. We just have a lot of extra food, so we're just figuring out what to do with it. Potlucks really waste food. Matt, do you want yeah. key lime pie? I thought I would escape being ha having to carry a billion things on the way back, but guess what? Our psych teacher just gave us a bunch of stuff. These are just some farewell gifts from my psych teacher. Um, I just put them in a bag so that it would be easier to carry back so that I wouldn't die like carrying the pie and the camera and the board. It's really hot now. It's really hot out. It's pretty much like summer already. I think like the transition between those two seasons, literally it took like a day. Literally morning it was winter and then boom during the like afternoon it was just summer. Beijing's a weird place. I'm so full right now that like, oh man, I can't even stay awake. I feel like I'm gonna like fall asleep or something. That was a lot of food. But earlier our psych teacher just told us a bunch of different things that he wanted us to remember and a couple of those were about gratitude, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good message to leave us with. But it invited me to consider one thing though. If you go on this website, it's called a uh, global rich list. And then you kind of put in like how much money you make every year or how much you have. And then you kind of compare it like us being able to watch this video as well on YouTube. Then you compare that. You kind of get a sense of how fortunate you are to be here. Like obviously the message isn't to just go out and like realize, oh, I actually have a lot of money and then go out and splash all your cash. It's not about that. It's about thinking how much you have in comparison to other people and how you can help other people with what you have. So one of the things that I was working on in Filmism before I left was our plan to be completely carbon neutral by 2024. Film does pollute a lot and have a lot of carbon involved, but we're a very small scale and it's not like it's not like a really big scale production and things like that. That's why I think it's a very possible goal to reach. And you can kind of read more about what we were doing beforehand on filmism.com.cn slash better future. And yeah, kind of just thinking about what you can give back. I know this sounds really weird and it's really cheesy, but just kind of like once we realize all the things that we have in life, we kind of then we can consider kind of like what we can give back, what we can you know, contribute to the whole community as a whole because there's obviously always need to be people who contribute to the community or else we're all gonna be living in a wasteland. So these past few days, other than studying, I've also been cooking a lot. Like I've been looking at different recipes online and things like that. And I found this really good Dolce de Leche recipe. And uh, the only ingredient that is needed is condensed milk. So I have this here, I'm gonna go make that now. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but you're playing bakery story. I am. It's really good, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs>